After data had transformed from the analog signal into a binary code, it could enter a digital device through the so-called ports in serial or parallel modes. Thus we can say that ports, that is input-output devices, can be serial or parallel. It all depends on the way of data bit transfer. In a serial input, data goes bit by bit through the same channel. Having passed through the port, bits form lines and thus data units of such length, which corresponds to the length of the device's computer word. Dot and dash code is a good example of a serial data transfer. There, dots, dashes and pauses, which form letters and numerals, are successively alternating in the same channel or same radio frequency. Serial data can be transferred in synchronous or asynchronous operation. All data transfers in synchronous operation are controlled by one common synchronizing signal. It is present on both ends of a communication line. In asynchronous operation, data is transferred in so-called batches. Each batch has all necessary information necessary for decoding contained data. The most popular protocols of serial ports are RS-232 and USB. It is important to remember that asynchronous transfer is somewhat more difficult but it has quite a serious advantage, as it does not require a separate clock signal.